works of art that are solemnly serious or light and playful bring us to a space of their own. Art sets off interactions that tease out manifold meanings. Science, whether specialized and narrow or general and broad, it is always fused with its forms of cognition, with mediums of expression, and with our imagination. Which are the points of departure for science and art, and where do they meet one another in their own paths of development? Bio-art seeks to open new paradigms in the face of deeply challenging and controversial problems for scientists and layperson alike. Coming from their separate and focused domains, can scientists and engineers, can artists and thinkers ever be well equipped for asking basic questions that connect us to what does it mean to be a human being, to be a people? Life sciences today, in many areas, have already adopted an engineering approach to biological phenomena, driven by the hopes of renewability, novel manufacturing techniques, drugs and material discoveries, tissue and organ regeneration. Our technological efforts are underpinned by a common and widely believed goal, making the world a better place. Yet how do we see what is indeed better and how do we decide on the utmost basic matters? What does our northern star look like, if we have one at all? Science and art re-examine how we regard life in ways which we are unaware of. Today, however, do we have ways to make sense of all these accelerating developments in cognitively and culturally comprehensible manner? Are we suffering from an acute poverty of language? to describe ourselves as highly technological modern beings. Bioart brings manifold avenues, explores worlds of ideas, and unearths our imaginaries. Gathering two momentous powers into one, can bioart take us to new grounds, give us new eyes to see, and new somatizations to live? To be sure, how we sense and how we make sense of life is at core integrated with both sciences and arts.